and we'll contest it number six. Please come on. We have Lisa Everson for Iverson. is good for your health. What are you most grateful for right now and why? Thank you, Madam Toastmaster. I don't know how many of you are on Facebook, but one of the things in November that a lot of people participate in is the 30 days of gratitude for the month of November. And every day you're supposed to post, I am thankful for or I am grateful for. And because the last two years of my life have been a little bit difficult and full of a lot of challenges, I decided this November to participate in that challenge. And this morning my post was that I am deeply grateful for the fact that my mother taught me how to cook and how to bake. And one of the reasons that I am most grateful for that is because I have celiac disease. And for those of you that don't know what that means, I cannot eat anything made with wheat, oats, barley, and rye, which is in everything. It's in pizza, pasta, beer, whiskey. It's in prescription medication. It's in toothpaste. It's in lotion. And if I had not learned how to cook from scratch, starting at three, when my mom felt comfortable putting a cutting board on the lowest cupboard or the lowest shelf and handing me a knife, which at three, I don't know, but <laughs> she was right there. I would not be able to cook from scratch and replace all of these things that I cannot have, make these lemon bars, make Thanksgiving pumpkin pie and pecan pie, make the stuffing for the turkey that everybody loves, and be able to comfortably eat at home and not give up a huge long list of food that would go ceiling to floor, wall to wall. So that is what I am most grateful for today, that I can cook. Thank you, Madam Toastmaster.